In 2017, the EV global market share was less than 2%. At the Frankfurt Motor Show, Honda was unveiling the urban EV concept, a sleek, retro-inspired vision of what the future of electric mobility could look like. Honda started working on EVs as early as the late 80s, and in 1997, the Japanese automaker was forced to build and sell a compliance car, built mainly to satisfy a mandate issued by California's Air Resources Board that said that 2% of a car manufacturer's sales in the state would have to be EVs. 20 years later, thanks to the introduction of lithium-ion battery technology in the automotive industry by companies like Tesla, EVs were finally ready to go mainstream. The new paradigm is to design cars as fully electric from the ground up, and major automakers were developing their EV platforms. The concept was officially introduced by Honda Motor Company President and CEO Takahiro Hachigo during his press conference speech. This is not some vision of the distant future. A production version of this car will be here in Europe in 2019, he added. The Honda E prototype was finally presented at the 2019 Geneva Motor Show. Honda's project lead for the E prototype said, We kept the exterior design very clean and simple. Electric vehicles will come in very close contact with humans in the future not just because they are quiet and clean, but because they will provide a lot of services that classic automobiles didn't provide. So, the appearance needed to be very friendly and sympathetic. That is why the exterior design is a little bit associated with the first-generation Civic, which was a very friendly and cute car. This lets the feel of the car move beyond a collection of functional pieces and stand more on its own as a piece of design, an emotional object rather than a purely mechanical one. Modern electric cars are already high technology products, but Honda had great ambitions for the E and wanted to include some unique features for a car in its category. The fins on the side don't just function as indicators, but also contain two cameras each, eliminating the need for side mirrors. Inside the car, there are three screens stretching the entire width of the dashboard, with an additional two screens at each end displaying images from the car's digital mirrors. You can even find an HDMI port and a 230 volt outlet, like you would in your house, allowing you to plug your game console and enjoy playing while the battery is charging. The Honda E captured the attention and received many awards. In Germany, it became the first Japanese vehicle to win the German Car of the Year. In the UK, it won the UK Car of the Year, the Top Gear City Car of the Year, and many more. The future was looking bright, and many believed that success was certain. The great level of excitement for the car since the unveil of the prototype almost made us forget about an important parameter, the price. Honda does not make cheap cars, and the E is no exception. Electric vehicles are generally more expensive than other cars, and buyers would still have to deal with the lack of charging infrastructure and long charging time. In addition to attractive aesthetics, Honda wanted to make its new EV enjoyable to drive in the city. The Honda A is rear-wheel drive, which is a very rare thing in the world of city cars. This gives the car great driving dynamics, both in terms of handling and traction. The battery is in the floor of the car, resulting in a low center of gravity and improving the handling further. The battery is relatively small, and this results in the Honda E being more agile and fun to drive than most other EVs. The vehicle was only sold in Europe and in Japan, as previous experiences showed that the US market is not suitable for small EVs. The Honda E is a small car, which means it has a small battery and a limited range. In theory, range anxiety should not be a problem for a car designed specifically for urban use. Statistics show that very few trips are above 100 miles, with 80% being less than 10 kilometer trips. The concept of a green urban car may be exciting, but in real life, it is not a good selling point. While longer trips are less frequent, people still expect their car to have the possibility of being used for long-distance trips from time to time. The reality of the market is that competitors also offer cars in the same category. 
other small EVs were available at a lower price and with significantly more range. Unfortunately, the premium aspect of the E did not allow it to beat the competition. In late 2023, Honda announced production of the E would cease in January 2024, with no plans for a second generation model. This was due to slow sales, with only around 12,500 units being sold globally in a period of three years. The automaker apparently has no plans to produce more cars of the same size. Honda chose to focus on electric SUVs because that's where the market demand is. The sad thing is, while the Honda E is a unique car with a design that stands out, the company's new SUV looks like any other SUV.